is going on everybody and welcome back to another video. Today I'm here at Bowdoin Auto House, which is one of the premier aftermarket tuning companies in Southern California. They work on everything from hypercars, sports cars, exotic cars, and everything in between. So they do body kits, wheels, uh, tunes, everything exhaust. So pretty much anything aftermarket you can imagine. And they work on some pretty special cars. So that is the reason that I'm here today. Uh, out front they have a really cool car that today we're going for a test drive in and I'm excited to take you guys along for the ride. So let's go up front and see what we got. Okay, so this is what we have, the GT3 RS done up by Bowden. So as you can see off the bat, it's pretty low. So the 991.2 GT3 RS, this thing is pretty badass. It's the most current GT3 RS on the market. And most notably, it has the four liter flat six engine that has somewhere around 530 horsepower or so. And I believe this one is tuned, I'm not sure exactly. I'll talk to Josh and get the full rundown on this GT3 RS momentarily. But as far as we can see, look at that exhaust. It's absolutely gorgeous. I just love the rear of the GT3 RS guys. We have a 22 inch wheel back here and of course these are full custom wheels by Bowden and a Rotiform collaboration so that is very nice. 22's back here, 21's in front and he got the calipers painted green as well. So the full interior, let's open it up here, hold on, unlock, there we go. As you can see, full lizard green interior looks so good in contrast with the Nardo Grey. Okay, so now we're hopping in the 3RS. We're gonna go to a cool section of road where we can get some photos and it's pretty empty. Oh man. All right, so we're in the 3RS. hear anything because we keep setting off car alarms. definitely is a huge upgrade and these cars are really good for the money. One cool feature are the carbon fiber cup holders and it actually has the YSAC RS badge because this car is the YSAC pack so that's a little touch on the cup holders of course Porsche has the weirdest cup holders in the game but at least they're carbon in the 3 RS. Cool little touch. It's kind of hilarious how low we are in this car compared to everything else like here's a UPS semi truck and we're at the footstep eye level with it. It's hilarious. Okay guys, it is that magical time, launch control time. We can see we have the Bowden plate. This GT3 RS, this is the dream right here. And back in we go. Wow. Guys, I am in love with this car. It's not the most powerful thing in the world, that's why the two RS exists, but it has enough power to spin the tires and it has enough power to get you to like 190. And the most important part is that 9K RPM red line. There's nothing that sounds like this. And just in case things get too hot, we got the fire extinguisher, Porsche OEM. That's like, uh, it's probably a few thousand dollars knowing Porsche. 
All right, guys, and I think that is gonna do it for the test ride in the Bowden GT3 RS. So again, huge thank you to Josh, guys. Remember to go follow their Instagram and hit them up for any of your product needs. And it's his birthday, so make sure to follow them. <laughs> Well, that was a hell of a lot of fun, guys. I must say that GT3 RS, oh, it's gorgeous. I didn't know that it was green underneath. They did a pretty good job with the wrap. And even though that they covered it with gray, which isn't as flashy, I think with the green interior, it does look a hell of a lot better. And the green calipers, that's just a cool effect. So anyway, again, huge thanks to Josh for taking me out in that thing. And we are gonna go back in the good old M4. By the way, I do owe you guys an update with my M4. I've actually done everything aftermarket that my old car had and then some. So as you can see, the car is now low, it's wide. I've got the wing, it's tinted. So the car definitely has a lot more than uh, the last time I had it on video. It also has uh, some goodies underneath that I'm not even showing right now. So my next video will do a full feature on the updates to the M4 because this thing has had a complete overhaul since the last time you saw it. So that is for the next video. So the M4 is going to be in the next video, guys, the whole overhaul. Make sure you watch then. But anyway, thanks for watching this one, and I'll catch you next time.